Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Talk with the Saw right here on Superlative Radio. Uh, this week, Dylan and I are going to be talking about WandaVision, episode three, and uh, Pennyworth, episode, episode two. two, from season two. And that's pretty much all, because there's nothing else new. But, uh, do have some more official news. Uh, I do know that WandaVision for sure is going to be nine episodes. So I think before we were thinking six, but it is going to be nine. Nine, okay. So that's good. Um, Are you going to make your comment that you made off air about... About... The slowness of it? Oh, I will, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, I think that's worth mentioning. That's why I yeah, wanted you to so do Yeah, so... We've got uh, we've got a lot to talk about. Um, we're going to start with Pennyworth, uh, like we did last week. So um, Pennyworth. So overall, before we get into the nitty gritty, what'd you think? Loved it again. Yeah, me too. Uh, it's it it's good. it's building up nicely. It's uh, coming to a well. I guess in a way, it, it sort of th- this kind of brings in what you're mm. going to mention later about the slowness. But I like the fact that <clears throat> they're they're building yeah to a point building up. Because they're making a story out of it, they're making it exciting. Yeah, uh, you know, you, you, it's just it's. You it's, watching it? Yeah, so it's oh, building up yeah. nicely. Yeah, it's building up very nicely, and I'm very impressed with the way that it's building up. And I'm very, uh, I, I'm not mm. disappointed. Like it's, you know, sometimes you go into a second season. Uh, you know, you have some series, you know, they they, did, and they get into the second season and they start to, you know, do yeah. this. And mm. and so far, mm. Pennyworth's not doing it. Yeah, it's, it's really it, good. Yeah, it's staying in the same. So, yeah, I'm I'm quite happy with it. I'm looking for, I'm still eager to see it when it's yeah. coming and I'm not going, okay, you know, like, oh, God, you know. So, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with where it's turning out. So, yeah, yes, it's definitely. pretty cool. I, um... So, overall... Definitely three thumbs Me up. Me too. I'm I'm all I'm all for it. I think it I think the season is going along really nicely. Um there's a lot of um there's a lot of really cool aspects. Now this episode had pretty much two primary stories kind of going. Going with, at the same time. With yeah. uh with another one in the background. Um of course there was the one with the two women, and That's then right. of course yep. there was the one with him. And then there was the background one which had to do with Thomas Wayne. That's right, exactly. So so there's you know they're 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 kind of developing everything nicely. Um, they're going on a really good pattern. Uh, now, I want to talk about uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the uh, the scene between Thomas and uh, I don't remember that guy's name, but the de- the guy that was involved is he involved with the devil or whatever? Yeah, seems to be something yeah. like that. I haven't quite figured out well, what it is last exactly. Season, but he was he was involved with something. He, there was something like messed up with the the devil and stuff. Yeah. Something weird. Anyway, but yeah. Um, so you know they meet at. Uh, of course, they end up meeting at at Pennyworth Club. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, you know, I like um, the line about you know something about you know all that's left is the kiss. Yeah. You know, yeah, I thought that kiss. was yeah. That, like, that are was, you serious? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right here. Yeah. In this part where he's, he's just yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So it's. Yeah, it's it's kind of funny that it way. It was messed up. That yeah, guy it is. It and is. then, of course, later on, he goes to the priest. And did you see how he was... Yes. At the very end, yeah. he managed to... Like right here, you'll see, he, he managed to corrupt the priest. Yeah, I know. So what do you... Somehow? Yeah, yeah managed. Like, what, what do you, do you need? mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, um, of course, that, you know, that was really good. Uh, then there's the... Uh, of course, that was the two, right where it ended. Actually, yeah, it was. actually the two women. Of course, um, there's the, the yeah. What's what's going on? What happened with her all of a sudden? Saving the black girl. What the hell is going on with her? Well, I think what it because in in the first I didn't episode, expect that. But in the first episode, right? You know, of course, the uh, the 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 commander, or the yeah, other yeah. guy, or whatever, he whipped his dick in front yeah, of her. That's and, right. And stuff. And like he was going to rape her, or whatever. And it, it obviously she's got some sort of intolerance for rapists. Which can't say that I blame her. No. So, but still, it just then it, she it, just helped her get away. I don't. Yeah, I didn't get it either. And it kind of freaked me out. I was like, okay, what's she like? Is she having a change of heart? Is she mm. changed? Like what? Like she's a cruel bitch. She is really, really like yeah. she's messed in the head. Oh yeah. Um, and of course, you know, she takes her to that deserted, dilapidated part yep. of the city or whatever, and uh, you know they're hiding out in that house, and then of course when. The black girl gets out, and yeah. runs. Uh, they get they encounter <laughs> yeah, the, the two, two guards, guys. That was each. Yeah, that and was. And she kicks the crap out of yeah, them. And yeah, then, and then she finally comes back and helps her she, out. Yeah, yeah. But still, it are was they like, still alive? Yeah, they're still alive. Yeah, she yeah. walks over, and, eh, kills yeah. them both. <laughs> yeah, like she's just the right cruel yeah. bitch, really. You know, right there. You see the, there, like, yeah. where she's like, like, oh, 
man. It's yeah, just is. amazing. Like just. But, I mean, she had her all holed up in the house and everything. Yeah, like and, I just, I don't know. You know, I, I don't I'm not, know. I'm I don't, not sure where it's developing there yet, but. Yeah. Have you noticed the, um, like, I'm going to show uh, an image of it right there. The headquarters of the Raven Union. Is that what it's called? The Raven Union? Whatever. Uh, look how, you know, it's very, it's got that almost like a, it's almost like that, that, that World War II steampunk look to it. Yeah, well, that's because of the time. Yeah, I know, but it's, but it's, it's later on than... World War Two. Yeah, but well, right? I mean, it's because like it's, it's lasted it's, it's a, that long. It's supposed to be what? It, this is the like sixties. I think. Yeah, early this 60s, looks like right? it, from the sound of things, it sounds like it's the early sixties. But, but I when mean, you this look kind at, of thing is still not that old. From you know, the World War Two, it's only about no, twenty no, years. No, no, no. I know, but when you look at like, um, I don't know if you know anything about steampunk, but if you look at the 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 idea of what they've developed here, it's really like a. It's really got that almost that World War II era look to it at the same time as having a bit of a, like I said, a steampunk look to it. it it's, it's very intricate. Anyway, it's a very intricate kind of design and what they're doing. And, uh, and of course, then uh, the, the, the other major thread was uh, about him trying to, you know, get the money, saying he finally got all enough money to go and he was going right. to take his mom then his, with him. Then his mother gets kidnapped. Then his mother gets kidnapped <laughs> and he has to take the money. And, uh, of course, these, these jokers here, he, uh, that was, uh, it was so this part well right done. here in the yeah, car. Yeah. This was so cool. <laughs> right there. And he, where he's like, he, the, finally the guy's like, stop hitting me. Mm. <laughs> he keeps whacking with the gun. That's a flare gun. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're right. It's a 44. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was like, really good. He's threatening them with it. And then he leads, they drives back and he picks up his two guys and. They yeah. all go. And then and, they get in the car to, yeah, it was yeah. so well done. It was very well done. And of course he does, you know, rescue his mom. Of course they get into a shootout with the police. Yeah. And then it turns into a, another cluster. Yeah. The guys get away with his money. Yeah. God. Yeah. It's, um, I don't know. They're, they're doing a really spectacular job. Now, uh, the other part, uh, that they, they only touched on briefly, but in the Raven, whatever headquarters, Raven Union headquarters there, when they showed, uh, you know, metal nose. Yeah, metal nose. Yeah. And he was meeting with that woman or whatever. And then, yep. of course, the scientists come in and they're talking about gassing people or whatever, yep. and poison, all that stuff. Now, do you think he's actually going to back out like he said he would to her? I think he's going to actually do it. I think he's going to yeah, do it. Yeah, I'd be willing to bet he is going to do it, but that's just the scene right here. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's going to do it. I would think so. Oh, you're right. I'll, 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 I'll get rid of it or whatever. I don't think he's going to do that. Mm-hmm. I think he's, I think he's just going to look for an opportunity to gas the. Sure, because that's what it is, you know. But anyway, we'll see. But I think he will. I it's a very about... interesting world they're developing because it's like it in, you know, it is supposed to be kind of a very real world thing, but at the same time, it's it's. It's something that's very different. Like the, it's like they're taking history in a completely different direction. Sure, a whole new you know? timeline. Um, which I think is really interesting. And it's not like they're just going, okay, well, this is Pennyworth in the actual '60s in London and whatever. Like it's it's going off on its own whole path of creating its own world. Like I get that in in the DC universe. Of course, they have Gotham and they have Metropolis and they have S- Star City and they have all these different made up cities that are all over the United States, but, you know, at the same time, they still have, you know, like New York and London and right. like, they still have all these regular cities. So it's like, it's like they're, they're kind of taking the real world and they're twisting it into their own artificial one. That's far more deviated from an actual, like, well, what I find funny, I guess it's not like, it's not like the, like the, the sixties Batman TV show, right? Like, well, yes, see, it, it, it happened, it happened in Gotham, but it didn't change the actual world in a whole, like on, on a whole. No, because they just. They just focused on that's Gotham. That's right. Exactly. But, but this is like, it's like this, what they're doing could have repercussions for changing how the whole world would evolve. That's right. Right. So. But the thing that gets me is like, like that Batman series in the 60s, mm-hmm. you know, Alfred was an old man. Yeah, he was. Now we're talking 60s and Alfred's a younger a young yeah. guy. There's that dichotomy yeah. in between that kind of makes me laugh. I'm going, you know, this uh, this is weird. So like that would like following 
the Pennyworth thing, then Batman would have happened much later. Yeah. Not the 60s, but that whole thing would have been like maybe even today, 2020 or something. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you know? it's really interesting to see how they're developing it, to see well, how it's going to go. 2021, but you know what I mean. I'm just, I'm, I'm really, really curious to see how they're going to develop this world because it's it's very different. And like we were, we were watching it last night um, and Kim said to me, she's like, what 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 what's wrong with them or whatever why are why are they trying to take over england or whatever and i'm like just think of them as english nazis because that's basically more or less that's that's a good that's a good you know they wear the thing on their arm and they have their symbol on it just like and they they act like they're fascists yeah nazis were fascists and that's what they are they're just they're just basically like english nazis that's actually a good term that's yeah yeah, that's kind of accurate yeah it really is yeah but anyway yeah that's a so that's what it is, and I'm quite anxious to see where it's going to go. Me too. I'm really liking the show. If if you guys haven't been watching Pennyworth, I mean, I don't know. I Catch mean, it, it is a drama, um, but, and it's, like I said before, it is based on the DC universe and DC characters, but it's not anywhere at all a superhero show. It's, no. It's, it's, no, it's just not. not. And it's, it's a really entertaining show. They don't hold back. Like, I like... One of the things I have to admit, and it's one of the things I like about what they've done with Star Trek even lately, and I know we've talked about this before, is the use of language. Yeah. Like, they don't hold back language. and um, Like we have to. Yeah, like it doesn't make any sense to me that, you know, in certain situations, people aren't going to curse and swear and whatever. They're, they're going to. It's just that's what it would be. That's what the real um, world is. And the real world operates like that. Like, it's not all just like, you Oh, know, shucks. Oh, darn. Yeah. You know? You know? But, so you I'm know. really kind of, I'm really kind of liking the fact that they just, they don't hold back. They just say things as it is and whatever. And it, it fits. Now, I mean, it fits this better than it does Star Trek because Star Trek has led us to the whole idea of everybody being enlightened and whatever and blah, blah, blah. Well, just because you're enlightened doesn't mean you're but, not profane. But, um, well, it kind of would. No, because but, I, I've, I've read... St- studies and things that claim that people that are more intelligent swear more. Well, that's because they got to put up with all stupid people. Well, yeah, but still it's just, <laughs> you know, they, you but, know, you, 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 you know, the smarter you are, the they, more frustrated the, the you more are frustrated because of the, you are yeah, because you got to deal with more right. idiots. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. You know, cause you got to remember everybody on the lower level of the IQ scale <sighs> than you, you know, yeah, on that basic. bell curve again. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. It's just, <clears throat> it just, yeah. some people are ringing up here and the rest are all down here. And you know, the ones that are dinging up here can't deal with the dingers down there. I got news. There. The dingers down <laughs> there don't have a clapper to ding. They're just standing there going. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Sometimes you just got to tell people what they are. You do. <laughs> I agree with that, but it's bit me in the ass more no, times yeah. than I'd like to, well, you know. you know, the, the, the... You guys know for sure that I'm I do just, that, I'm, but I'm, I'm just going to say that, honestly, the smarter you are, you remember, you're dealing with... Stupider people. And if you don't understand that level of frustration, that means you're one of the people that's <laughs> causing the frustration. <laughs> So if, the you're not, if you don't walk around frustrated by the state of things, you're probably the reason those of us that are frustrated Either are you're frustrated. part of the cure or you're part of the problem. There's no in between here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're one of those, I just go through life happy-go-lucky all the time, you're part well, of the problem. Well, no, not to say you could be stoned out of your tree and not care. That's the other side of that. See, now that's... Another answer. You see, you see these people walk around. Well, man, it's just so cool. Maybe they're onto something. They are onto something. They just don't want to deal with anything. Sometimes I don't want to deal with it either. Just want to bury my head in my pillow and tell the world, please leave me alone. Yeah. You know. Anyway. But anyway, that's a whole other issue. It is, but it very much applies here because it's the same concept, right? Yeah. Like what you see is with these people is. The ones that are think they're all the smartest and whatever are doing one thing, and all the dumbasses are doing something else. And it's just it is what it is. Yeah, I know. And it applies to the show. Anyway, there it so is. That that's it in a pinch. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys are watching Pennyworth. I hope you're liking it. Uh, See, the thing is, you can't write this shit. That's the problem because it happens. It's there. Yeah. You can't write it. It's just so. So check it out. Um, in Canada, I know it's airing on Showtime. Um, I don't. I don't know where it airs in the U.S. 
Um, but you know, next life, give it, give it a, give it a watch, a check it out. Yeah. Next life, I'll come back as a dog. And, uh, yeah. you know, comment below, let us know what you're thinking of Pennyworth and how you're enjoying it and whatever. So anyway, let's, uh, let's move on to, uh, oh, do you want to do your, sorry, do you want to do your little, uh, WandaVision? Yeah. Your... WandaVision. No, no, no. WandaVision. No, no, no. I know. You're... Oh, okay. WandaVision. Yeah. WandaVision. There you go. WandaVision. Oh, it's not a thing this time. There. There it okay, is. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. likes to do his little, yeah. you know. So, WandaVision. <laughs> Ow. Now, before we Finally, get... Finally, we're all in color. Yeah. Bef... And oddly enough, the episode is titled Now in Color. Yeah, exactly. So, before... We get into the nitty gritty of this episode, talking about it. There's some heavy stuff. Going There's some on there. stuff going on online, and if you're one of these people, then I'm going to tell you you're you're give them hell. You're part of the problem today. You're one of those people causing those of us that have brains frustration. Um, it's funny we're we're going. This yeah. is this. So we're got a whole topic. The here. Uh, I like it. There is this this thing going on, and it's all like like. All over the internet, people are talking either about how they love WandaVision or they're complaining about the fact that it's a slow burn. Now, again, remember what I said at the beginning. This is going to be a nine-episode show at least. It is part one of a trilogy. So nine episodes of WandaVision, Spider-Man 3, and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is part three. You said this okay? a couple of times. So you've got to remember, it's not a slow burn. This is a trilogy, and A, you don't do TV the way you do movies. This is not a three-hour movie. This is a nine-half-hour episode television show. And the concept of this show is to showcase different aspects of TV because it's the reality that Wanda or Mephisto, whoever is, whichever one of them or both of them that are behind it, have created. And yes, Mephisto is the villain. I know that for a fact. I, it's, it's all over. Again, I'm going to get into how there's the numerology thing in this episode all over the place too. And even bigger analogies to him. But uh, it's not a slow burn for the sake of being a slow burn. It's got to build up the fact of... And you see it in, in the way like... You see it in the in I you know in the episode where the guy comes out of the manhole, right? She reverses time. That's right. She she says no, and everything goes back. That was last week. Yep. Yep. That's right. And then with this episode, she does it with Vision. Mm -hmm. Vision's talking to her right here, and she rewinds him. Yeah. Okay. And then when Monica Rambo, who plays Geraldine, okay. Right here, they're talking about the sword symbol she has hanging around her neck because yeah. she's. An well, agent she made of sword. the comment. She made yeah, the comment she's an about agent yeah. the sword. Then she makes a comment about Pietro dying yeah. to Ultron, and what does she do? She throws her out of the reality, tosses her out of it. Now you got to remember, all of this is building to something. You have to. Okay, but you also have to realize we're living in a world uh, know, of immediate gratification. These people you don't to, know how to do that. You have to let. The story build properly to tell a good story. This is the problem that I've been talking about the whole time I've been doing this show. In the last two seasons, I've mentioned it about Star Trek. I've in the fact that they're rushing shit because what they've done is they've taken twenty six episodes and cut it to thirteen or ten or whatever for every show they've done. So what you're getting is you're getting rushed stuff and. This is a problem that comes from you millennials because it is not, it is not a Gen Xer or before, or a boomer thing because we we get it, because totally. we grew up with this stuff. That's right. We grew up with these old shows and things like even our parents are, got people it. People are complaining about the fact that black and white. Look, <laughs> color wasn't always a thing on TV. You know, like learn some history, read a book. Even our parents used to go to movie theaters, and before the main movie, they'd show a serial. Yeah. Now, a serial is something that happens 
as it go, every one of those every, would end on a cliffhanger. Yes. And you so had that to come you would to have the, to come, come back, back the to next see, week to, to see, see what happened one. again. That's right. That's the way they things They did work. it on radio, too. Oh, big they time. They used to do it when I mean, they would play a radio show. That's right. They'd say, tune in next week for another exciting adventure that's right. of blah, 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 And find blah, out blah, what happens find when. What happens. That's right. Exactly. Like, you got to understand, serialized storytelling is as old as the human race. And the reason that this show is doing things the way it's doing it is because it's a throwback to that That's stuff. That's right. And it's building. You give them hell, Tiger. And it's showing, <laughs> it's building towards a bigger goal. You just have to sit and wait. Now, this episode did give us a little bit more. Oh, it gave it more, but it's still giving what we need. And, to. you know, you have to understand this is where things are. This is the... Kevin Feige is probably I think he's I think he's in his late 40s so okay so he's late 40s or early 50s so he's aware of okay. what happened so before so he you know he grew up like he, when he created the the idea for the show he said it was because he grew up watching these shows yeah and and this is what he's wanted to you know there's a reason Wanda has created this reality or whatever in this fashion or Mephisto has created it in this fashion whatever it is somebody has created it and I think it's a combination of Mephisto and Agnes and Wanda I think is what's happened um I don't know for sure but I mean there's a reason why it is this way and they will get to it you'd have to give them time it's nine episodes we got to get through people just watch it enjoy it have a laugh because it is funny. Oh, it has some and funny it, parts. And it is meant to be a play on these old sitcoms. The the cheesy lines, the cheesy dialogue, the cheesy jokes, all of that stuff is a throwback. Is a throwback to those shows. That's what in those days people found funny. Yeah. Okay? So you have to you have to look at it as not only are you getting a look back into the past and if you think that's boring, then you're what's wrong with the world today. We wouldn't have what we have if there wasn't for the past. Okay? Everything happens for a freaking reason. Everything that it comes from somewhere. Nothing I've is original. I've said this on my radio show a hundred times. Nothing is original today. That's nothing. Right. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Did, and for those of you out there that may not know, there is only a finite amount of ways that you can produce music. That's right. Tell them. And they, they fully expect that within the next... I don't know, I think it's the next thousand years, there will be no way to create new music. I heard it is 500 years. Maybe it's 500. I'm not sure. But whatever. There will be no way to create new music. Because, because everything every, will have already been every used. Every combination of note possible will have been done. Yeah. So you have to understand that there, there is a limit to things. That's why, I mean, why do you think we have reboots of things? Why do you think they did the, the reboot of Star Trek with... J.J. Abrams, why do you think we get all these, you know, renewals of old shows and things? It was a thousand years, but when Eddie Van Halen came onto the scene, he cut it, cut it in half. Oh, okay. okay, see, that, that's that what it was. That must be what it is. So, Way to go, Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Ruin it for everybody, Van Halen. Yeah, no. But um, it's that's the idea, is you have to understand that everything is a ripoff of something else. You know? I mean... At how some many point, superheroes you... are ripoffs of other superheroes? You know, how many, how many of this is, or how many of that, or how many, you know, like there's just so many things before, you know, you, to come up with something original is hard. And anybody who's creative will tell you that. Yep. And so this show is a slow burn for a reason because they're trying to lay the groundwork for A, a trilogy, and B, a decent TV show. And you got to give them that. You, There's so much shit out there right now that like this is this is easily one of the best things Disney has produced in freaking years. You know, it's right up there with the Mandalorian, and it's right up there with the the Marvel movies that they've done. Like it's 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 good. You just have to give it time, and you have to watch it. But and you have are, to watch it with the right eyes. First, yeah, and first of all, like I get that there are people out there that are probably only Marvel fans from the movies. Okay, like you came along when Avengers launched in 2012 in the movie theaters and you're like, oh, cool, look, they got Iron Man, Captain America. But you've never read a comic book in your life. Okay, fine. I get that there's those fans and those fans may not get that. But everything that's happening. That's me. Everything that's happening in these episodes 
everything has a correlation to the comic books. Okay, you got to remember, these are comic book characters. They're not television characters. They're not movie characters. They're comic book characters that are being portrayed on film. And they're doing it in a way that's... There's a reason why the MCU is as successful as it is. Because they're doing it right. Are they slavishly obeying the comic books? No. But there's a reason why the X-Men films suck and the Marvel ones don't. And there's a reason why the DC films suck and the Marvel ones don't. And that reason is how they're doing them and how they're paying attention to the comics and drawing from them. You tell them. So you have to, you have to watch and give it the time. Now, I know I went off on a bit of a rant. But That's fine. It's, You're making a point. It's just the fact that you have to understand where they're coming from and what they're doing. And all of their things are interconnected. And if you haven't gotten that by now, you shouldn't just turn it off and don't even watch it anymore. Because if, right. you're, if you're not going to pay attention to what they're trying to do, then don't watch. Then just don't watch. That's right. Don't go online and bitch about it not being what you like or not being fast enough for you or whatever. If it's not fast enough, just for go you, back to playing your video games. Go back exactly. Go back to playing your video games and watching brainless Michael Bay movies. That's right. Okay, because <sighs> obviously you don't understand the concept. of You don't have the brain capacity to follow it. So so don't go. I mean, each episode is filled with hints and tidbits of what Easter eggs of what's going on. And no, I don't get all the, I and don't I've get explained all the Easter them in the eggs. first two, and I'm going to explain the yeah. ones that happened in and this And I'm episode. looking forward to hearing the Easter eggs because okay. I don't catch it all. So let's get into the actual episode. So the episode opens like this. All these octagons, okay? Now, they're not octagons, um... Is it not is six sided octagon? Six is a uh, uh, octagon is eight, so it's eight. six is a, pent a pentagram. Uh, no, Pent pentagram is five. Uh, uh, square. Anyway, the reason that these are all okay, you see how it starts with. I forget. Like, it's a Chrysler logo. Yeah, you see, <laughs> yeah, you see how it starts with the like, and it looks like it's the Brady Bunch, but instead of squares, it's yeah these six sided. There's a reason they're six sided, because again, the number six. Remember everything. Has a purpose. Numerology. Pentagon is five. Yeah. Yeah, pentagon is five. Pentagram is five. Yeah, well, pentagon, pentagram. Yeah. I'm uh, trying to remember what six is. Anyway, whatever. It, it's like a stop sign. No, stop sign is eight, isn't it? Seven? I forget. It doesn't matter. Go ahead, whatever. continue. Anyway, this doesn't is matter. just, yeah. this doesn't matter. Whatever. So the fact is, is six, this is our first, our first. Will visual. you look it up? Because it's going to drive me nuts. What yeah. is the six? My phone's in my jacket. Just look it up on the computer. Go on the, the iPad right there. The computer's right there. Oh. Anyway, uh, so this is our first, the very intro, six. Okay? It's a nod, again, to six. And what have we been saying about sixes? Six, six, the six, devil. six yeah. keeps coming up. The number of the beast. Okay? The devil. Who is the devil in the Marvel Universe? Mephisto. Okay? Now, there is, uh, of course, the episode starts... And what is it? Six sided, not five. Pentagon. That's five. Oh, we want six. Hexagon. 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 That's hexagon. it. Hex hexagonal. Okay. I knew that. Yeah, okay. All right. I did too. Anyway, so that's the reason why they're all hexagons. It's the first nod to Thanks, Marky G. six. Okay. Again, there's a point where you see the outside of their house. You see the the number on the house, the 2800. I've explained how that yep, turns that last into week. six again. Okay. Hex. Um, I knew that. I feel know, like such an idiot sometimes. Uh, so in this episode, of course, they're, they're talking about the fact that, of course, Wanda is pregnant, which we found out from the last episode, how she started yeah, right. at the very end being pregnant. The doctor comes over and is like, oh, you're four months along or whatever. You're trading in no time. Yeah. Yeah. So... You know, they go on uh, with that. And then, of course, you know, the doctor says he's going off on vacation. And off they go. Or off he goes or whatever. And the he episode to starts go. to progress. And you see, um, then you see this scene uh, where Vision is outside. And he looks over and he sees Agnes and uh, the colored fella. I can't remember his name. You think she plays into this? Agnes? Oh, yes, I do know. She's, she's an actual Marvel character. That's in, that's mystical. 
There's a, okay. She I actually is. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't aware of that. Okay. Thank you. Um, so she's talking to the colored fella. I don't know. No, no. I think I'm talking about before where he's cutting through the... I think it's before he's cutting through the, the, the cement wall. Yeah. With the hedge with trimmer. With the hedge trimmer. Now, yeah. if you look behind him, the whole... Everything behind him is fake. Like, it looks fake. It doesn't yeah. even look like... It's like it's it's like it's a TV set. Every, like it's That's crazy. Right. It's and like it's a painted background. Yeah, yeah exactly. And you can see that. You know it's the just, fact that he's obvious. cutting through. He's cutting through a a, a cement wall with, with a, a hedge, hedge trimmer, trimmer, which is impossible. Um, which goes on to talk about how it shows. It's another one of those imageries of how everything is fake. And. You know, Vision doesn't think anything of it. But the next time you see Vision talking, he, you see Agnes and him talking. And, and he almost tells him he something. almost tells Vision what's going on. He says, we're all, we're all, we're all. And now he's either going to say, he's either going to say one of two things. He's either, he was either going to say before <laughs> Agnes stopped him, is he was either going to say, we're all trapped or we're all being watched. And Thanks, Marky G. We know they're all being watched because <laughs> as of the end of the very first episode, we saw it zoom out That's right. to a guy sitting looking at a TV console with all the readouts right. beside it. Watching all watching the shit the going show on. Yeah. going on. So we know they're being watched. Now, he was either going to say we're all watched or we're all trapped. But she stopped them. <clears throat> she wouldn't let them say No, it. she didn't. Yeah, Agnes stopped. Yeah. It. Yeah. Agnes stopped. Said, no, 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 no. Whatever. Now, you notice Agnes keeps referring to her husband, Ralph, who we never see. Yeah. Okay. She's referred to him in every episode, but we have not seen him. The reason I believe that is, is because Ralph is actually Mephisto. Oh, really? Yeah. And. Okay. Um, that's what I think. And then now I don't know if I'm right or I'm wrong, but that's what I think. Um, Interesting concept. So. You know, uh, she's she knows a little bit about what's going on. She does. Well, if she's and Wanda knows a bit about what's going on. Well, now she's catching okay. on a little bit. So Geraldine comes to 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 visit, and uh, Geraldine is actually Monica Rambo, who is the little girl from Captain Marvel, grown grown up. She's now an agent of Sword. Um, working with Nick Fury and the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and everything, and she comes. She has somehow gotten into the reality, but it's... Well, she said something about the fact that she has no husband and no home or no, yeah, you know... Yeah, that's what That's what they all say about her, yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> now, obviously coming into this reality has in some way affected her mind, either through Wanda or Mephisto or whoever's doing it, it has affected her mind because she can't remember everything. Because she starts to talk about, well, she talks says, about Pie Pietro yeah, right, and exactly. him being killed by Ultron. And then Wanda's like, what? And, you know, it goes through the whole thing that this is, of course, after the children are, are born. But, you know, she th basically throws her out of the reality. And as you can see right here, she comes yeah. flying yeah. through. And then you'll see, uh, you know, the... Everybody rushing to her in the helicopter flying around, and then you'll see the, the, the lights along the side, and you'll see, if you look, you'll see a shimmering. Of, in the back behind that. that is where this bubble reality is. And, of course, what's right out there is an old Westview sign. Yep. Westfield or Westview, Westview or whatever yeah, sign. Westview, yeah. And so, obviously, they're out, you know, sword or shield or whatever is outside trying to figure out what the hell is going on there. Um. And of course, Monica, or Geraldine, I should say, had the sword logo necklace. Yeah. Um, and it's just, there's so many, um, of course, while they're sitting there talking, this is the other thing I should get into, is uh, while they're sitting there talking, of course, uh, as Wanda's still pregnant, the stork walks in. Yep. The stork. Comes around the... Walking yeah, in yeah. behind or whatever, and Wanda keeps trying to scare the stork away or whatever and all this. Uh, but you notice that Wanda tries to do something and this, there's a big puff of red smoke. Yep. <clears throat> That's another sign to Mephisto. The red okay. smoke and the stork. I think that's actually 
Mephisto manifesting himself. Um, and then he goes around and he comes and he starts chomping away at, yep. at Monica's pants. Now, if you notice her pants that she was wearing, which were like really awesome flares. <laughs> uh, 60s. <laughs> you know, they were 60s. Uh, but they had fish on them. Right? I didn't catch that part. Okay. They're, they're white with blue fish. Okay, I didn't catch and, that part. And but there's okay. red blood on them. I'll have to watch red, it again. Let me right? See. And the stork starts picking at the fish. Right? Which... Now, you can see that as a symbol for um, the devil and, and Jesus interacting. Like a, okay. Yeah, like the, the devil picking okay. at the fish. And, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, there's, there's lots of analogies there. And, of course, the red for the blood. And like, yeah, yeah. Like it's, but the whole, the whole thing is that it's, you know, obviously, like, yes, the stork is coming and it's bringing the babies. But at the same time, it's supposed to be a reference to Mephisto. There's, there's so much going on with the imagery in this. You know, Vision goes to get the doctor and bring him back. And yeah. the doctor, you know, the doctor before he had said he was going on vacation and he asked him where he was going. He was Bermuda. Yeah. Well, what happens in Bermuda? Well, there's the Bermuda Triangle, um, you know, where things go and they disappear. Yep. But at the same time, he says, are you going to go on vacation? Like after, he's like, and he's like, no, no, no. He never seemed to get out of here or whatever. Right? Yeah, that's what he said. And it's because nobody can ever seem to leave. <clears throat> like. I've had visitors like that. And again, you notice how <laughs> nobody has noticed that from the last episode to this episode, it jumped basically to the next decade. Yep. Again. Like it's. That's right. That's, you know, this whole aspect of what's going on. Even though things are changing constantly, it seems normal to everybody. That's right. Even though it really isn't. So, I mean, all the little the little subtleties that are there and all the little things that they show, everything is building a good boy. to something that's going to be really good in a payoff way. Trust me. Just... Stick with it. Stick with it. Kevin Feige hasn't messed it up yet well usually he does pretty good work you know according to I what mean, you said so he, he he hasn't messed it up yet so i mean there are things where you can say well this movie wasn't as good as that one or whatever but at no point can you say that any of the marvel movies have sucked none of them suck they might be some of them might be better than others of course but they don't suck um and overall, their story tells a pretty good thing. Do they have issues here and there where there's... Who doesn't? Plot holes? Sure. Nothing's perfect. But this is as close to amazing as we've ever had in the history of television and cinema. So you have to give it a little bit of give it its time. Give it and its you due. have to yeah. give it a little bit of patience and watch. And understand that not everything needs to be an immediate payoff. Nope. Now, the two children, um, twins, boys, in the comics, Wanda and Vision actually did have children. It later came to find out that Wanda had created them herself. She had, they were all, eventually it turned out they, were, they weren't even real. Um, and the same idea is what's going on here. Everything is, everything connects to the comics in some fashion. It gets back to that. That's that's why that I get, like, if you're not a fan of the comics and you haven't been, you're not going to get all of these little subtleties, which is why you need to watch shows like this or other people who talk about them. Watch this. Don't watch <clears throat> the other people. Watch this. And understand that these things are all connected for a reason and everything is. And, and as things go along, I will continue to explain how it is going to connect to everything else because it will. And I will be here to point out all these little subtleties and things that people are Which missing. is good because, you know, sometimes, you know, people like me who don't, who aren't in the same loop that you are, need somebody to say, well, you know, this does, this will reflect something that's coming yeah. later or this was because of this or this. Mm. Like, you know, it's, it's, and it's nice to, to, that that's there. So yeah, thank like you for it, that. Yeah, it's, like it's, it's the whole aspect of you have to understand that, there is going to be a payoff. Yes, it might be a little bit slow to get there, but it's a TV show. You can't just jump into a TV show the way you would jump into a two or three hour movie, right? Like, you know, even, even on Big Bang Theory, different. Sheldon, you know, we would say, you know, I mean, that's a commitment. 
you know, yes, to right. jump into a series like that. You know, like, you know, you just, yep. you know, you've, I mean, that's, that's, you know, like the, one of the ones where he's talking about getting into the flash. Yep. You know, he was, you it's know, a, it's a commitment. That's right. right. Exactly. You, you know, when you start watching a show, you're going to watch it in the hopes that it's going to pay off. That's right. Exactly. And you don't expect everything to happen all at once. If it did, it would be a movie. That's right. And the even movies, t- even movies. Some like, of them don't think even. About, think about it this way. Avengers Endgame was three hours. Yep. Okay. If one division was a movie, we're only in, we're only about 74 minutes in. Yeah. Out of yeah, really, we're not even out of out of three hours. Three hours, right? So out of hundred and eighty minutes, we're only not even we're only like not even halfway there yet. Yeah. So you've got to understand if you go back and you watch Endgame, it doesn't even really pick up till the first hour and a half have gone by. Yeah. Like you've got to give it time. You can't expect instant gratification. Exactly what we talked about earlier. So yeah. anyway, um. You know, she has the two boys. I like when her water broke. That was so funny. This everything scene right just, here, it just starts to pour. Yeah, in the everything. House. Yeah. And not only there, but it poured everywhere. That's right. It did. <laughs> like everywhere. Well, just like the power house. failure when she was, you know, everywhere. Yeah, yeah exactly. So yeah. So it's, you got to remember, whatever happens to Wanda affects the entire reality that has been created, either by her or by Mephisto, or by both of them. So it has been like. Everything there is happening for a reason. You know, that helicopter piercing through in the last episode, right? Um, all of a sudden, Monica Rambo showing up. Like, the, the, the beekeeper, you know. Yeah, that comes uh, out of the thing. Every, yeah. Everything that's getting into this reality, the, you know, like, it's, it's all leading somewhere. Just stay with it. Stay with it. You'll, you'll, you will be rewarded for it, um, you know. If you're not getting a lot of the the lines and the humor and whatever, that's because it comes from a time when that was how things were. Yeah. Okay. Like. It's a throwback, and it's it's a, a throwback, yeah. and it's very well done. Oh yeah, it's really. Yeah. You know. I remember um, a lot of the old shows, so I do remember. Like I can see how it's it's being true to what it was. So. And yeah. there's even more coming with throwbacks to the actual comics. Okay, you well, know, that eventually I'll, that I'll miss, but. You'll well, ev- no, you'll notice because eventually we're going to see Wanda and Vision looking like their comic book characters. They're going to be wearing their comic book outfits. Oh, okay. You know, you'll see that. that All that's, right. That, it's, it's for Halloween, I think, or whatever, but you're going to see it. Like, they're going to be dressed up as Scarlet Witch and Vision from the comic books. Like, it's, you know, like, you're going to see these things. You've seen them in the previews. You'll see it here. It's going to happen. You're going to see all these little things come about and pay off. So give it some time. Enjoy it for what it is. Leave a comment. Tell us what you're thinking of it, you know. Yeah. Um, if you think that we're just full of crap or you think that, no, we're right on the money, but, the, you know, really, you just, you got to understand that not only is it nine episodes that we've got to get through, so it's got to build up, it's also... Got to lead into the movies. Got to lead into no. Spider-Man, and it's also got to lead into Doctor Strange. And we know Elizabeth Olsen is co-starring in Doctor Strange, too. So it's not like so she's only a... going to, it's not like she's even going to have just a small part. She's going to be a big part of that movie. Uh, there's also rumors she's going to be in Spider-Man 3. She even hinted at, Elizabeth Olsen even hinted at it herself with, you never know where she's going to pop up. Well, there you, you go. Know? So um, you see it's, it's all. There's even rumors that the Loki series is going to connect to this in some way, which is entirely possible. There's also, um. There's also now rumors going around about um, Captain America coming back to the MCU, that uh, Chris Evans has been in talks for a return for several more appearances in the Marvel Universe. Wow, okay, that's good. So, <clears throat> you know, uh, there's also uh, rumors that WandaVision is going to help, it, between WandaVision and Falcon and the Winter Soldier, we're going to see how mutants are introduced, so how the X-Men will come into the Marvel Universe. So there's there's lots of things you've got to watch for. Wow, so everything will sort of tie in everything together. Everything is going to connect. So I like it. Yeah, it's, you know, it's just things are going to be what they are. You've got to give them time. You've got to give them, you know, the opportunity to build things because you got to remember, look at way back when we first saw the very first Iron Man. What, sweetie? Okay. They didn't know that they were going to eventually build to this. They had no idea it would go 
it would be successful or not. They didn't know it. When John Favreau and Kevin Feige sat down and thought that up, they had no idea it was going to be this successful. They had no idea this was what was going to happen. You know, they did Iron Man. Then they did The Incredible Hulk. And then they did Iron Man 2. And then they did Thor. And then they did Captain America. And then they did The Avengers. And when they hit The Avengers, they were like, wow, this is really working. And what happened when they did The Avengers? Then Disney was like, oh, hey, we're going to buy Marvel because look at what they're doing. You know, and it, it started to build. And they started to lay the foundations for so many things. And again, you got to remember when Endgame happened and Spider-Man Far From Home came out after, that was the ending of the first three phases. That was it. It was like a boom. The first three are done. Now they're starting basically with Iron Man again. You know, only not Iron Man, but they're starting back at the beginning. This is phase four. And phase four is going to lead to build up to new villains. I mean, Thanos is gone, so they're going to have to have a... Loki's no longer a villain. They're, they're going to have to build up to other villains. So who are we going to see? Well, we're going to see Doctor Doom. We're going to see, uh, you know, um, the Green Goblin. We're going uh, we're gonna to see, uh, you know, Galactus. We're going to, like, all these other villains that are going to come into... We're going to... We know we're going to see... Um, in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumanium, uh, we're going to see, uh, what the frig is it? Uh, the High Evolutionary, or I think is who he is, or whatever. Or no, I'm thinking of somebody else. Oh, frig, the guy from the future. Anyway, the, the, the villain who's going to be in that is like Reed Richards. Great, 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 so that's obviously going to connect to the Fantastic Four. Like, all of these things are going to be combined. They're all going to interconnect. We still haven't even figured out how... It doesn't sound like we've even scratched the surface yet. No, so. not even at all. You know, obviously Mephisto or Nightmare is going to be the villain of Doctor Strange 2. You know, so we have to understand how it's all going to connect. You have to give time to do that. That takes building. It takes time. Yeah. And, you know, like we're going to, you know, we know that the Fantastic Four is coming. We know the X-Men are coming. Well, if the X-Men are coming, then that means Magneto is coming. Well, Magneto is the father of Scarlet Witch. He's the father of, of Quicksilver. Yeah, Quicksilver is dead now, but I mean, maybe this is going to explain how Magneto has been around but been hiding out because maybe, you know, that's why Scarlet Witch <clears throat> thought he was dead. You know, he's a mutant, one of the most powerful mutants. He's going to... You know, like they have to explain all these things. They're going to explain how Wolverine has been around because Wolverine is still part of, he's called in the weapon program, he's called Weapon X or it's, they call him Weapon X, but it's actually Weapon 10 because X for the Roman numeral 10, right? Captain America was Weapon 1. They're all part of the same program. Like it, it's, it all connects. Everything does in some way from the comics into these shows, it's going to connect into these movies. So that's why, if you really want to know, that's how we're going to talk about it here. We're going to explain how it all connects. And we're going to talk about how we enjoyed it. I mean, I know, like, Kim watches WandaVision with me. She watches the Marvel movies with mm -hmm. me. She is only, like you, one of those fans who has been presented to it yeah. from what they see on screen. Yeah. And she loves WandaVision. She thinks it's great. I, like I'm, I'm enjoying it very yeah, much. I, you know, so it, <clears throat> maybe it's because of our age. I don't know the fact that we're Gen Xers and baby boomer in your case. Yep. You know, that, that we get that. But if you're younger than that and you're not getting, you're not getting that ideal, then really give a good look at it and watch it because you're, you will pick up the subtleties if you're paying attention, you will... You will, uh, you will see the payoff, I guess. So, yeah. And the only other thing that I can add to it t t for you to add to your enjoyment, do a little research, do some history, mm. look back, watch some of the old shows, do so, oh, another one. Ooh, there you go. You got two this week. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, give it that look back and look at some of the old, like, mm. like it, like the first one was based on the old Dick Van Dyke show. Yeah. Watch one of the episodes or two of the episodes. Get a feel for what it was. And why it was that way. That's right. And not only that, but Google Wanda and Vision. 
like actually Google the Scarlet Witch and go or if you don't want to use Google, whatever. But like, re go online and and look at. You can read old comic books online. You can see th like, look at these characters and see where this comes from. You know, go to the Wikipedia page on them. You can see their history. You can read it. Yeah, it's all there. Get a feel this for it. This isn't the first and, time and Wanda's created a fake reality. It isn't the first time she's done something to reality. So, I mean, it's all there. It's all yeah. going to pay off. Just give it time. There you go. Anyway, that said, I thought it was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. Likewise. I'm looking forward to the next one. And, uh, you know, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to check out Leave our Leave your comments, stuff. please. Yep. Leave your Let comments us know. below. Don't forget to check out our other stuff. And coming up in a couple of weeks, we'll be all in the pens second, second episode. episode. That's right. Um, look for that the first Saturday in February. Yeah, that'll be coming up then. It, it, uh, each new episode of that will be the first February of every, or first February. Uh, yeah. What was the it? first Saturday of every month. Thank you. Sorry. Yes. It comes out on the first Saturday of every month. Uh, and, uh, so check it out on our YouTube page and, uh, like, you know, subscribe, watch, like, subscribe, comment, uh, share it. I hope you really like, you know, uh, what we're doing with All in the Pen. So we got some good stuff coming up with that and too. We're, we're, it's uh, developing more as it goes. Yeah, as if you haven't a lot checked it out, do, just, but, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, seriously, just click on our thing. The playlist is there. You can. Yeah. You know. Have a little look, see, and, uh, give it a shot. Cause, uh, it, it, like, like a lot of things, it gets better as it goes along. That's right. That's right. And we're, we're telling a story there too. Yeah. So. Yeah. The things are developing that way. And it's like, again, you know, like he said with the, you know, it's, it all takes time to That's develop right. characters and get things going, which is part of what we're trying to do. Yeah. So and, give it a watch, uh, yeah, check it out. So uh, have fun with it. Comment below. Otherwise we will catch you guys next week for another episode right here on Superlative Radio. Thanks so much for watching. See you later guys.